G'day folks, time for another day of working on the wall computer. Uh, it's going to take longer than I expected, but it's going to be really good. Uh, I want to get this Core i5 up and running so I can really uh, crunch some video. And uh, yeah, I'll put Windows XP Professional on it. Sorry, not XP. Windows 7 Professional. I actually showed out money for a legit copy. Um, I do like XP, but it just lags behind when it comes to running newer architecture. So, yeah. I've got, got to do the upgrade to uh, Windows 7 when it comes to newer systems. It's worth it. It runs well. It does a lot more than XP could, so it's always a bonus. Uh, as you can see, I've removed a fair bit of metal from the back of these drive bays. And this is to clear the motherboard and give it some breathing room. I may even have to trim the top back a bit more. But for now I'm just being a bit uh, minimalistic. I could uh, cut a lot more off, that's for sure. Uh, it's going to hold the uh, SATA hard drives. I'm going to have blanking plates in two of them because the motherboard's directly behind them. The drive um, caddy protrudes too far in. So I'll be blanking plate, blanking plate possibly another drive and then drives across the top. I'll find a SATA optical drive to go in there and just throw a, a floppy drive in there just for the hell of it. I probably won't connect the floppy drive up unless I can find a proper controller uh, but it'll just be in there as filler anyway. The openings at the bottom are also going to be important to airflow as well so even though it's going to send a bit of hot air over the hard drives, it's really uh, pretty much unavoidable with the way this thing's going to be designed. Although uh, cutting holes in the top of the case and putting 40mm PVC pipe, well, pipe work essentially to a uh, extractor would come in handy as well. Who knows, this thing might actually have pipes and things coming off it to pull hot air away from certain parts. Like I said before, it's going to become part of the uh, shed furniture so it's not like it's going to go anywhere having uh, rigid PVC pipes and other things going to it is always an option along with water cooling my own breed or a sealed factory unit I don't know uh, probably my own style of water cooling it could get complicated but certainly not impossible given how easy it is to make and modify heat sinks in this shop now with all the machinery that I've got I've got milling machine lathes all the equipment for welding and brazing copper and uh, yeah, you name it. I can make solid copper heat blocks or heat, uh, what do you call it, um, water blocks. Make a solid copper water block and uh, just go nuts with it. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's get into more metal work. Okay, that looks good. That's the actual main board sitting on its mounts. Plenty of clearance in here. Even the big CPU cooler won't hit the side here, but I'm using the factory air cooler for the time being. Although, I do have... that's an Alley core. Uh, there he is. That's a Pentium 4 one with a solid copper um, core in it. I might actually replace the busted push pins on it and use that. I know the i-series doesn't generate as much heat and they run a much smaller cooler, I might just go a bit over the top on it just for the hell of it, especially because it's going to be in a shed. And come summertime, if I don't have water cooling on it, it's going to get hot. Because I don't leave the aircon running when I'm at work, and if this thing's running, uploading or editing a video, it'll be left on all day while I'm at work, and it can get pretty hot in here. It can reach 50 degrees on some days. 50 degrees Celsius, that is. So, uh... This will put this will test it. It's tested all of my workshop PCs and so far I have not murderized one of them. They just keep on soldiering on. Doesn't matter what brand they've been, whether it's Intel mainboard, uh, VIA, uh, I've had Gigabyte, I've had ASUS. Uh, I've got two ASUS in service at the moment that went through last summer, no problem. Uh, this is another Gigabyte and the ASUS that's already survived one or two summers is going in the case next to it. So it should be right. Hopefully. Um, yeah, this is a decent little main board. And a decent system. Yeah, 16 gig of RAM, decent graphics card. I just need to get a back... Well, not a back plane, but a... Um, 
IO card, just the sheet metal cut out from the case and the local computer shops well, I went to one today and they only had a mini ATX, which is the low format one for this side. But the other computer shop has them, but the big bot, the bot owner isn't there, so they don't know exactly what they can throw out and what they can't. So I'm going to have to check back later. This case will have a bulge in it, essentially, because I do want to put a full height um, video card in here. So the front cover is going to actually have a raised section, be it mesh or... Um, folded acrylic I don't know but it'll be interesting it'll work we'll make it work well there we go that'll fit I found a uh, three slot uh, expansion card retainer uh, it's actually the back of the server case it came out of the uh, was it's part of the expansion part whatever you call it PCI X that's what was originally attached to it so I just pulled it out and cut it off easily enough. Hopefully it's in the right position, if not I'll have to just slit it out a bit more. Should be just fine. And get rid of him as well. Yeah, very good. I'm going to have to TIG it in there. I'll bend this uh, re remaining piece of metal out at right angles so it actually comes out over the face of this. Pop rivet that into place once I've got a dud mainboard and graphics card in there as a mock up. Like, actually, clamp it all in place, screw it into place, fit this in, and just TIG weld it or pop rivet it as I see fit. It's got a quick release uh, retainer for the cards as well, no screws. So, that'll be very handy. I'm going to do the same for this side, except I'm going to. There's the remainder of the expansion uh, assembly. I'm going to cut that out of that little dell and use that for the uh, second main board. Assuming you know, I might just be able to get enough sheet metal out of it to make it worthwhile. Again, it's got a quick release uh, retainer in there and everything. So, uh, yeah, that'll probably be next that or I raid another PC case. I might even raid the wall PC case if it still has an existing uh, shield or expansion card uh, assembly. I think I've already butchered it at one point though. I can't remember. I think I butchered it so that I could get a bigger card in there. Okay, that's looking better. I've got my uh, interface card or expansion card slots in place. Uh, I think this main board's dead now, accidentally. Uh, I think I burned traces off that corner of the board there, right near the audio output. Doesn't matter. Couldn't even take a Core 2 Duo. Shame on it. This board here's just been sitting here. I haven't damaged it. It, it just needs a good uh, dust off. It'll be fine. So, uh, yeah, necessary sacrifice. It's strong enough. I do need to do some more reinforcing and put some mesh across the back of it, but... Well, at least the motherboard side of it's taken care of. I've just got to mount the power supplies, work out the uh, hard drive caddies. Julian was nice enough to donate a couple of uh, SAS ones so I can pull the modified Ultra ones out of the 19, 1950 that I'm going to keep and uh, just modify all the Ultra 320 SCSI caddies, or at least three of them. Now, I only need three of them, so I'll have two, four, maybe six terabytes worth of storage in here in total. If I use the two Western Digital Green two terabyte drives as storage and a 500 gig WD Black as operating system for the uh, i5 plus an SSD or something like that, we should be pretty right. Ooh, look at this. I might even have it running by, this, by tonight. Well, it's already getting dark out there, but you know. Probably by this morning, <laughs> if I'm up all night. Power supplies, well, I was going to have them going uh, horizontally, but screw it, why waste time making ducting and all that sort of stuff when I can just have them venting upwards? That's where the heat wants to go. Fan pulls fresh air in through the top. Well, sorry, the side on the wall. Blows hot air out through the top. Convection cycle. Hell, most of these have thermostatically controlled fans and it wouldn't surprise me in the least if they don't even cycle as often as they normally would. 
mind you, they are going to be mounted pretty high up on the wall. And as I said, I'm going to be putting them through some fairly extreme temperatures this coming summer. Uh, the uh, Sea Sonic is going to be exactly the same about there. Fan uh, outlet, vertical power goes in. It does allow for a bit of dust and stuff to drop inside it, but again, it's still going to pull dust and crap in anyway. So, yeah, I'll just have a bit of uh, concertina mesh over the uh, top so that I'm not tempted to stack stuff on top of it and obstruct the airflow. <laughs> That's where the uh, diamond mesh or concertina mesh comes in handy. Okay, so this is the build so far. Um, I did a lot of it on the live stream with Julian last night and uh, got a bit carried away so it's mostly done. I'm just going to make the acrylic cover for it and that's about it. Tidy everything up, rerun run some cables differently, tie everything up. Looks good, both boards tested and work fine. Yeah, it's very happy. I've got my shiny new HyperX 16 gigabytes of memory in there. Um, unfortunately the bigger chunkier cooler has a slightly wider pattern on it so that's not going to work. Um, so I'm using the original i5 cooler instead of the thicker um, Pentium 4 one. It'll do, at least till I can get some liquid cooling in here. I'm thinking water block, water block, and water block and more water block. We'll have two separate circuits going to one common heat exchanger. Could be fun. It'd have to be mounted on the other side of the wall and just plumbed through. I'll have a uh, manifold block somewhere that I can screw fit fittings onto and uh, connect into. I might get uh, the quick snap-on water fittings that are used in the injection moulding is business to connect up dies to the uh, water systems. So uh, yeah, that works really well. Anyway, my battery is just about out and I'm going to upload this. Thanks for watching. G'day folks. Uh, welcome to a little uh, Monday night uh, update. Well, technically I think it's still afternoon. It's just very cold and dark this time of year.